Wisconsin 101 is a statewide public history project that seeks to tell the story of Wisconsin through objects. We might think about history as primary sources, what you could read in books, in manuscripts, in newspapers, in old letters, and things like that. But we don't often think about history as material culture. And so Wisconsin 101 is trying to change that. What stories do these objects tell us about Wisconsin? How can objects be an avenue into the past? This project is done as a partnership between the University of Wisconsin-Madison, uh, the Wisconsin Historical Society, and Wisconsin Public Radio. It was the brainchild of Emeritus Professor of History Thomas Broman and Professor of History Sarah Thal, both at UW-Madison. When Tom and Sarah were thinking about this project, they wanted it to be different from what's traditionally seen in a university history classroom. And one avenue that they thought they could pursue to make that change was online. So they wanted this project to be web-based. And the purpose for that was twofold. One, to make sure that we are increasing access as much as we can. We want people to be able to access Wisconsin 101, whether they're in a fourth grade Wisconsin history course, whether they're at the high school level, or if they are a retired teacher in Dodgeville. We want people to be able to access the site. So moving it onto an online forum was important, but it also makes it much more interactive. The website is broken up into two different sections. Uh, we have our objects, which are divided into uh, themes, so you can browse that and you can check those out. But we also have an extensive collection of materials for K-12 educators. We want students to be able to learn with our collection of objects, so we have specific lesson plans for some of our objects. Some of those are tied to museums and other places that students can go on a class field trip, like the Wade House, or the Wisconsin Historical Museum, or Old World Wisconsin. But we also have object-based uh, lesson plans so students can design their own museum exhibits, or they can bring in objects that talk about who they are and use those objects as an avenue to express themselves and to understand material culture a little better. So under the Educator Resources tab, you'll find a lot of that information and you'll be able to explore those resources. And if you're a K-12 teacher, if you're a parent of a K-12 student who's interested in Wisconsin-based history or material culture at large, you can check those resources out. And the really cool thing about the project is that people from all over the state, whether they're students at the high school level, whether they're university students, university professors, people who work in local historical societies, or people who just have an interest in history, they're able to suggest an object and they're actually able to write that object history themselves. So this is a statewide history project, but at its heart are local histories, and that's what makes it so cool. So if you have an object that you think really tells the story of your local Wisconsin community and you think it should be a part of Wisconsin 101, please email us at wi101 at history.wisc.edu. Submit an object proposal. We'd love to hear from you. We're always looking for new objects.